Okay, what the hell? I have to re-narrate this thing again because, well, I'm an idiot. I should really learn how to save my narrations. I mean, yeah, I know how to save them, but... I mean, I don't really have to save them. They just appear under that thing and I can just save my movie file. But it, that's not what happened this time. I have to re-narrate it. And now... Well, I recorded all these things these intros connecting stuff because I really want to talk but and well here we go communicating please stand by I live with my my needle queen because my almost uh, kind of didn't work out that well so now I move my DS a lot because I'm trying to figure out the best camera angle or because my webcam is so flimsy it just kind of stays can't stay still so now, because I'm because Needle Queen is that awesome, I can wall this thing. And well, I, it's obvious that she's gonna switch, so I roll just to see what else she has on her team. And she brings out that fake out thing again, which is really gay. But whatever, I can safely handle something like this. Anyway, she double hits, and well, I'm just staying here so that she he can she can get life of damage, and hopefully poison point, which she finally gets. And I earthquake it just to bring his health down because, well, this thing... And I, I didn't really want to set up my toxic spikes, I mean... I know how much he loves bringing roserades and come and stuff. And then now I'm sending my physical wall to take a double hit, but she over predicts a switch and goes with a shadow claw, so that's even better. Thankfully it didn't crit. So she sends out that Ludicolo and I'm thinking, oh my god, it's gonna be a least seat staller, I know it, I bet my pants on it. But and and then Giga Drains and like wow Giga Drain Because I totally wasn't expecting that at all, so now I obviously can't stay in for another one of those, so I switch out to my emo and take a surf like a beast. So anyway I sub here just to stall for the toxic damage because he's poison and stuff. And I was hoping she didn't have ice beam, but she did. So it's a Giga Surf Beamer. Yeah, that's it. A Giga Surf Beamer. So she sends out the Magmorta, hoping to take a, a Leaf Storm or what's it. And then she's faster and she uses Hidden Power Ice and fi or Fire with. That's dumb, why the hell would I make more type HP fire? So anyway, my switch is obvious because, well, she's scarf, which is also obvious. And now she predicts a switch to something and goes to that... Uh, Giga Surf Beamer thing. And now I send in my Glaceon, but for some reason she's so afraid of it, she goes up to that stupid electrical fish that I hate so much. But now I have an epic move for her, I mean he, uh, uh, yeah her. And then she, she's probably predicting a baton pass to something else, so she ice beam about that kind of fail. And I'm like, lol 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 lol, I get another HP grass and ground on you. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Which is exactly what I did. So now she serves, I mean Thunderbolts. It's a boat bin boat a Um, wait, forget it. So she she turned the boss for a neutral, breaks the sub, man. So now she goes to the Magmortar thinking I have HP grass, but that isn't the case. And I was you pro you can't see it right now, but I'm snarling like a maniac back there because it's my Glaceon kicking butt, and I absolutely love it. So now she's she's gonna use a special attack. So I go out to my Brock and take it like a beast. Step over he didn't even do half, and I'm like, wow. Because it's just that beastly. So now to prevent the Magmortar from coming in alive again, I kinda set up my rocks. While she switches to that stupid electrical fish again. And now she withdraws it for apparently no reason and goes up to that thing. And I toxic it because I didn't want to psychic it because I know that stupid fish will survive it. And now that thing has Lumberry and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? What the hell is this thing gonna do? So he she wood hammers and leave me leaves me at seven. I'm like, wow, that thing hurts, mama. It hurts. 
Now I'm feeling the history fire. She goes out to the McMorta, but she it kind of dies to rocks. Pretty much, I, I, she's pretty much a death fodder. So anyway, she sends out that Giga Surf Beamer of Infinite Dome. And well, I didn't really want to get killed here because a fast sweeper is always something good to have. So I got to my glaze gun, hoping that she'll ice beam. But thinking back now, she so she likes to predict so much. That's probably the last thing she could do. And I'm pretty sure my glaze gun can survive, especially without rocks. But she kind of critted me, and I, and ugh, that is so, so gay. Of all the things that she could create is my Glaceon, my epic Glaceon that could have swept a team. I wanted a Glaceon sweep. Why can I never sweep with my Glaceon? It is not fair. I no one, no one should crit my Glaceon. And so I set on my reflect, and she would hammers and gets a crit on my oopsie because she overheard me crying my lungs out all all around the globe. Uh, so I send in my Moltres, and I sub just to see what the hell it's gonna do, maybe switch or something, or maybe even lead C. But she he she uh she uh, genders, she rock slides, and I'm like. I, I really can't substall this thing because Rock Slide unlike Stone Age has usable PP and quite good accuracy so I didn't really want to stall it out. So I flamed through hoping it a KO which it actually did and I was so happy because well that Torterra hurts like that. So she sends out that aspect Giga Surf Beamer and I sub just to stall for some more poison and now I finally flame through her and it just dies. Well, good, GG Roreka Ro Ro. Uh, I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Um, yes, good game and comment, rate, subscribe. But actually, no. I kind of hate people who say that. Um, well, yeah, I kind of hate people who say that. And yes, I. Okay. Four, three, two, one. See ya.